Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the second video of this series, and in this video, primarily we will be explaining example number 3.4 solved in the book. Okay, let's recall what we have learned uh, in the previous video. First thing, when we say that some uh, function is represented as sum of product, that means it is something like this. These are the product terms and they are added or with plus sign or or, or sign. So this is sum of product expression. Similarly, this one is sum of product expression. And when it is said that the function is represented in terms of min terms, then that means we have the uh, values of the main terms. So like M3 here, M4 here, M6 here and M. 7 here. Also we learned that whenever uh, we have ones in the boxes our first effort should be to see if we can combine all of them in one loop. Now since these are empty or zero here we can assume therefore we cannot combine all eight of them. So the next option is can we combine four of them Yes, if you look carefully here, we can combine these two and these two by folding method. That means when we fold this like a paper rolling of a paper, then these and these will come closer so we can combine them. So this will make a box of um, a four. And when this is left alone, then we also should try to make or combine it with at least one more so we can combine it with this one to make a pair of a loop of two. Okay, we also learned that in the um, eight boxes, each box contains um, a value which is um, in terms of like x, y, z. So all th three variables are present uh, here, here, and it, every box has its different name, but all the three variables are present. What if we have two variables present? So like if the function is x dash y dash, that means if you look carefully x dash y dash is here and x dash y dash is here, although the third term is different, but we can combine these two. So in this two, uh, we get x dash y dash. So that means if instead of a three variables, we have two variables, so we have to combine two boxes. And if we have four, one variable, just one variable, so y dash here. Now if you look, y dash is present here, y dash is present here, y dash is present here, and y dash is present here. So we'll combine all four boxes. So for y dash, uh, that means we have to combine four boxes. And if f is 1, then you have to combine all eight boxes. So we'll, we'll follow this in the uh, next example that we are solving. Okay, so here is example 3.4. The Boolean function is given like this and we have to express this function as a sum of min terms and we have to find the minimal or the uh, simplified sum of product expression. Okay, so sum of min terms mean we have to find the min terms like this m3, 4, 6, 7, so something like this. So for that we have to plot this function into the uh, boxes and since there are maximum three variables that means we need a box of eight um, small boxes. Okay. So we, 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 we got to take this. Now here the variable is x, y, z. In our case the variable is a, b, c. So we'll just convert it into a, b, c form. And now let's go to the first one, a dash c. So uh, if you look here, where is a dash? Now this, this whole row is a dash. This is a and this is a dash. So we have to be in this row. And then C. Now let's see where is C1. 
So this is C, you know, the, the second item is C. So these two have C as one. That means for A dash C, we'll circle these two. Similarly, A dash B, A dash is again in this loop, but here now B is one. So this is B one. So this is the second uh, loop. Third one, A, B dash C all three so we will just one box and let's see a b dash c so that means we have to be here a b dash these two and c here one so that means this is the box m5 so we plug in one there and the lastly we have b c so that means there is no a that means we have to go vertical. Now B, C is one where yeah, B and C both are one. Therefore, these two boxes uh, we have to loop. Okay, so we got all the um, ones now uh, for this function. And now the uh, first question is right, the main term. So if you see from here, this one has M1 m2 m3 m5 and m7 so that is our answer in terms of a min term we can write this answer to be sum of 1 2 3 5 7 now the second part find the minimal sum of products that means we have to uh, now simplify with the help of a k map you know sum of product is like written like this so this is the um, um, k map that we have and you can see very easily we can simplify we can make a, a four box loop here and we can make a two box loop here so this is four loop and this is two loop and now uh, writing the value so i hope you can write this value so since it is four box therefore the value will be just one variable and let's see what is that you can see nothing common up on this side and similarly what is common on on these two is this last c so that means this box will represent a value c so this is c and now we come on to this one this row is a dash so a dash what is common from here is the first one that is b so it is a dash b is the answer so i hope this gives you an understanding as to how to solve this type of a problem thank you